Hi, this is Rebecca Mackay, author of The Great Believers, and you're listening to the Cook Memorial Public Library podcast. Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Cook Memorial Public Library podcast, where we invite you to spend a few minutes with the staff at Cook Library. I'm Lindsay Barber Petticourt, and we're back from our brief winter break to talk about our adult winter reading club, which is easy to join and will provide you with some uplifting reads for the rest of winter. To participate, you just have to read two uplit titles. I'm sure you're already thinking, though, great, but what is uplit? Luckily, we have our popular services manager, Andrea Larson, here to fill us in. So, Andrea, thank you for joining us. I'm happy to be here. So... What is uplit? Well, uplit is kind of what it sounds like, Mm -hmm. uplifting literature, and it's a bit of a trend in the publishing world nowadays. They are stories about people coming together and helping each other. Mm -hmm. They're stories of kindness and generosity and and friendship, and it's um, a response, I think, to the political situation in our country, all the divisiveness, all the anger that you see in the media or on social media, people are looking for something a little bit kinder and gentler uh, in their reading. It's also a little bit of a backlash, I think, to all of the popular domestic thrillers that the publishers have been putting out these days. And while there are still plenty of those books out there and still being published. I've been ordering a lot of them lately. I've also been ordering of a lot of these happier books. And when we were talking about how to theme our adult winter reading club, Mm -hmm. this came up and we thought, oh, these are also just perfect kinds of titles for when you are curled up at home on a snowy day um, with your blanket and your cup of tea. It's very, very hygge. Yes. (laughs) Which we need this winter. (laughs) Yeah, it's a very hugo winter. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Okay, well, uplit sounds, you're right, just like it, just like it sounds. Yeah. Uplifting literature. Yeah. Um, So for those of us who maybe don't gravitate towards uplit, do you have some recommendations to get us started? I sure do. Great. Well, one book that I personally really liked was called Three Things About Elsie. And um, it is set in um, uh, a home for the elderly, and it's kind of a mystery, actually. Elsie lives in this home um, with her best friend. They're always hanging out together. And one day, a new gentleman moves into the, the complex, and he looks familiar to Elsie. And she can't place him at first, and then she remembers he is someone who was supposed to have died 50 years ago. Oh, wow. So Elsie sets out to figure out this mystery because then, you know, some some other strange things begin happening where she lives. And it's also made interesting by the fact that she has dementia. So she's kind of an unreliable narrator, too. Like she's not sure what was real and what she might have imagined. But it's it's uplifting because it's the story of how these elderly people band together mm-hmm. to solve this mystery and how they really care about each other and support each other and how Elsie's friends really help her when she's struggling. It's it's wonderful. It's also, you know, talking about a population that is kind of marginalized in society. We yeah. tend to, you know, take the elderly and kind of push them off to the side. And this really gives you a beautiful window into what their lives are like on a day-to-day basis. That sounds nice and very intriguing. So we have what sounds like a little bit of a mystery. Um, What else do we have? Uh, Another title that I'd like to recommend is called Into the Beautiful North. And the author is Luis Alberto Urea. And uh, he is actually, or was until recently, in the Chicago area. Oh. Um, Yeah. Uh, I think he might have just moved to California, though, which is kind of a loss because he is an amazing writer. Um, He is Latino. And so he writes about the immigrant experience. Mm -hmm. And so this book, Into the Beautiful North, is about a young woman who lives in a small village in Mexico. 
and she's been noticing that all of the young men in her town have left. And they're all going up into the beautiful north, you know, up to the United States Mm -hmm. to find work, and they're not coming back. So she's really upset about this. So together with a couple of her friends, she embarks on a trip to go north of the border and bring Mexican men back home. It's it's a it's a bit of a road trip novel, okay. you know, and the themes are obviously very timely. Um and it's it's a funny book. It's really poignant. It almost feels kind of cinematic. Oh, okay. Um, but it, it mostly just has this great sense of hope. Mm-hmm. You know, the main character, she's such an optimist going into this journey. And um, and you, you find that there are these people that help them along the way mm-hmm. on their trip. So, again, those, mess- those positive messages. It's got, you know, strong female characters. Um, it's got LGBTQ plus themes in it. I think that our, our teen patrons would like it as well, okay. our older teen patrons. So it's it's got a broad appeal mm-hmm. to lots of different people. Just a, a wonderful, well, uplifting <laughs> book. <laughs> it's okay. You're allowed to describe them all that way. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think that sounds like a very lovely title. Yeah. Our last title that you're going to recommend, I believe you have also recommended on our library's blog, Shelf Life. Is that correct? I did, yeah. And this title is called Meet Me at the Museum, and the author's name is Anne Youngson. And what I think is really neat about her is this is her debut novel, but it was published when she was 70. Wow. Wow. Can you imagine? She, oh, wow, um, uh, that's amazing. Yeah, I mean, according to the bio on the book, she spent her career working in the auto industry, I think, mm-hmm. and then just decided in her retirement years to write. Hey, it's never too late. <laughs> that's right. There's for hope anything. for us all. <laughs> um, so this book is written in the form of letters uh, between two people who kind of end up writing to each other by accident. One of the people is Tina Hopgood. Um, she lives in England. She is the wife of a farmer. She's a mother. She's a grandmother. And she is writing to a man named Christian Larson. And he is a curator at a natural history museum in Denmark. And the the reason that they get started writing is because Tina is asking about the Toland man. And the Toland man, in case you're wondering, is, is a perfectly preserved corpse from about 250 B.C., Oh, wow. And this is a real thing, actually. It was found in Denmark, I believe, in the 50s or 60s. He was in a, he was in a peat bog, perfectly mm-hmm. preserved. So anyhow, she's interested in this. She starts writing to him, but it quickly becomes something, something different. You know, they're not just writing about this old find. They start to write about each other and their deepest hopes and fears. And because they're both people of a certain age— it's a book about second chances. You know, they're they're kind of looking back at their lives in corresponding with each other and sort of looking ahead and wondering, well, what's what's left for me? What's still there? Can can I still achieve these dreams that I had in my childhood and in my youth? It's it's not like a page turner. This isn't a book that's got lots of plot. Instead, it's it's a very gentle book. It's it's a meditative book that really makes you stop and think about life and, you know, start to think about second chances in your own life and the people that you love. So I thought it was a great example of, of uplit. I can definitely picture reading that on a snowed-in day under a blanket. That does sound very, very cozy. Yes. Well, Andrea, thank you so much for sharing these titles with us today. You can find a list of these and other titles for our Winter Reading Club on our website, cooklib.org slash winter reading club where you will also find the entry form once you've finished reading your two titles finishers will be entered into a drawing for a 50 dollars gift card the club runs through the 15th of march so you've still got plenty of time to finish while you're on our website visit shelf life the library's blog where we share what's new and interesting in books movies and music the blog's address is shelflife.cooklib.org If you'd like to get in touch and leave some feedback, you can just send us a message at webmaster at cooklib.org. And finally, if you enjoyed this podcast, share it with those you love. And one of the best things you can do to support us is to take a moment to leave a rating on iTunes. Those ratings help us get noticed. We'll be back soon, but until then, keep reading, keep watching, and keep listening. (music) 